Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Lakeisha. Sunscreen is by far one of the most important products in your skincare routine, but for people with medium to dark skin complexions, it can be the most difficult one to find. On this episode of Sunscreen for Dark Skin, we are putting the Hamish Moringa Ceramide Hyaluronic Hydrating Water Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA++++ to the test to see if it's black girl approved. If you missed the last episode, I will link it in the cards above. Make sure that you are subscribed and click the bell to be notified every time we put another sunscreen in the hot seat. Let's get started. As I'm reading this as PF, I'm keeping 10 qualities in mind, and at the end, I'm giving it an overall rating out of 10. About the product, on the website, the claims for this product are that it's a lightweight moisturizer with SPF. It has microhyaluronic acid to give you an intense hydration for dry skin. It's made up of 73% moisture essence. It quickly absorbs into the skin while offering highly moisturizing benefits. It has a creamy texture. It's supposed to melt into the skin and leave no cast or greasiness. It's a non irritating chemical sunscreen for all skin types, even sensitive skin. It's dermatologist tested and they did a skin irritation test with irritation being 0%. Of course, it's SPF 50 plus PA plus 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 plus. Now that sounds amazing to my ears. So let's see if it lives up to these bold claims. Let's talk a little bit about the brand. The brand was founded in 2016. Hamish is a Korean cosmetic brand that focuses on providing effective, gentle, natural skincare and makeup products. It focuses on modern beauty and sophisticated sophistication that's found in the simple and the ordinary. They're all about beauty for everyone, finding what is attractive to you and helping you emphasize those features, which I love. I love that notion. All of Hamish products are paraben free. Paraben has been demonized as we know, and a lot of products are not including them. It's just a preservative. Um, I don't mind whether it's in it or not. So there's that if, if that's something you care about. They're also one of those brands that push the natural skincare clean company like a lot of companies are doing lately, which once again doesn't really mean very much, but it's there if, you, if something that you care about. They're also a vegan brand as well. They are a well-known K-beauty brand with several cult favorite products. Like personally, I love their all clean um, cleansing balm, which is amazing. They're all clean line and their Moringa line are two of my favorites. They also sent over some of their other products. These are their new Moringa Ceramide products. This is the Collagen Enriched Moisturizer and their uh, Hyaluronic Hydrating Cream. This one I use as a night cream and this one as a morning cream. I love both of these. If you want more information on these, I do have videos on my TikTok and Instagram talk more about these in detail, but I really do enjoy these moisturizers. I'm no stranger to Hamish's skincare, but I do find that their makeup selection could use a little bit of work when it comes to dark skin complexions. And before you say that this is a Korean makeup brand, so they only carry products that are suitable for people with lighter skin tones, like those who are from Korea. Their complexion products feature at least seven different shades and most of the models on their page are non-korean people like they're people of color and the website is called hamish us us is a melting pot of different complexions so there's that. This means that they are targeting people with different complexions. That being said, I feel like the Korean beauty market is trying to target a wider audience at this point, and that's why they've been coming out with a lot of new complexion products and delving into the darker side of things. It could be that their formulators don't really have enough different complexions to test on. I've heard that when they do the testing, it's like a skin tile, basically, like a, a tone, and they have to obviously match the products to these tiles. So they're not really ever testing on actual human skin so that may be why some of them are a little bit off or you know there's there's just something missing you know something left to be desired but hey if you want somebody with darker skin complexions to do shade matching on i volunteer as tribute anyways i couldn't find way too much about the company and their story um they don't really have an about page on the website so all of this information is what i found on various other retailers i do enjoy their products i think that their lines are quite unique and their products are also very very moisturizing because I don't have much to go off of, my rating is based on what I do know. And so for the brand, I'm giving that a 0.8. Let's talk about the packaging. So it comes in a sleek tube, a very tall, sleek, modern tube, which we love. It has a twist lock cap, so there's no spilling or of anything, any type of nature. It's very minimalistic. It's matte. It's simple. I love that. It would look beautiful on your vanity. And of course, because of the tube, you can cut the end to get every last drop. Love that. The 
nozzle, the way that the nozzle is functioned as well, it does require you to actually push it, which makes sure that it can prevent spillage. So for packaging, I'm going to be giving this a point. Let's talk about price and quantity. If you're no stranger to this series, then you know that I look at the daily average costs, how much product you're getting, how much product you're using, and then finally, how much it's costing you per use. So I already did this calculation. This product is 22 USD. I do everything in Canadian because I am from Canada. So currently with the conversion, it's about $30 Canadian. I would say that this is pretty normal for the amount of product. This is 50 milliliters worth of product. It's about $30. This is a normal range. So that equals 1.69 fluid ounces divided by 0.04. That's how much the two finger lengths that you need to put on your face, which equals 42 days. Pretty average. Pretty much every single one I've done ends up with 42 days. $30 divided by 42 days is equal to 72 cents every time you use this. Now, I personally like to see anything between 60 to 65 cents for everyday usage. This is a little bit higher than that. It's a little bit on the higher end of mid range, but I do think it's a fair amount. I'm going to be giving price and quantity a 0.7. Let's talk about the ingredients. Their website doesn't really have a full ingredient list. So once again, all of this information is what I found on Cause DNA as well as NC Decoder. So on their website, what is listed is fermented Moringa oil, eco ceramide, microhyaluronic acid, I cannot pronounce this word, it's on the screen, and beta-glucan. And the benefits are that it fights acne, it brightens your skin, it has antioxidants, it's moisturizing, and it soothes your skin. Really interesting. I like that it has that moringa in there. I haven't really seen that too much in a lot of products. I love the ceramides. This really does protect your skin, especially in the winter. Helps rebuild those skin building blocks. So it's going to be giving your skin that replenishing, that rebuilding effect while it's protecting your skin from the sun, which I love. And of course, I have acne prone skin and dark marks. So anything that helps to brighten the skin and it won't clog my pores is definitely right up my alley. The rest of the ingredients I have here on the screen that I found from these other websites. There was nothing here of concern that I'm looking at. There isn't really anything that strikes me as it would be pore clogging. So I do like their ingredients so far. For their sunscreen, their active ingredients, of course, it's SPF 50 plus, which means 98% uh, UVB protection. And it's PA plus, 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 which also means 90% UVA protection. A for the aging, B for the burning. So this is what we love to see. Their active sun ingredients I have here listed on the screen. I'm not even going to try to pronounce these. They do have a good mix of um, UVA and UVB protection. I'm not a cosmetic formulator, but I have dissected my fair share of ingredient list. So I do like what I see here. I think it would be very beneficial for a whole lot of people. Overall, I'm going to be giving their ingredient list a 0 0.9 application so this product is very lightweight it blends out super easily to your skin one of the things about sunscreen is the more that you rub it in the more that it's deteriorating it's effectiveness to covering or protecting your skin from the sun so the fact that this absorbs so so quickly and you barely have to rub it is like amazing it absorbs really really well into the skin and dries down almost immediately within like a minute or so your skin is like dried down it goes on a bit white as you can see in the application video but it does blend out eventually into your skin um so for application i'm going to be giving this a 0 0.9 the finish so this product dries down to a skin like finish they do say that it's supposed to be non-greasy and all of that good stuff i do find that it is moisturizing and i do find that it also doesn't leave that greasiness on your skin um there is though a healthy shine that it gives your skin i don't think that it's aggressively like over overly like shiny or oily so i think that all skin types would really like this i think that if you have oily skin you can definitely use this without a moisturizer for my combination skin in the winter it's quite dry on my cheeks so i do like using their collagen enriched moisturizer underneath and with these two together like my skin feels amazing i'm wearing it today under my makeup both of these and it is absolutely gorgeous your skin also doesn't feel sticky there's no tacky feeling i don't like that stickiness i'm not a fan of like gripping primers or anything like that i want to feel skin i want to feel like i'm not wearing anything and that's what this gives me i feel like my skin can really breathe however once it is applied to my face um if i haven't put on like my makeup or anything like right now like i feel nothing but if i was just leaving it without any makeup on top then i do feel like a slight film on my skin not tacky but like i feel like there's like a little something if i touch my face 
I do find, however, that you kind of have to be careful about what you apply under it. Like I've been using, what is it, Topicals Faded Serum because I'm trying to fade my dark spots. And I do find that this really does pill with it. So I use Topicals at night. But if you're just using these two moisturizers or any moisturizer that's really water-based, then you should be fine as well. It does settle in my necklines though. By the end of the day, I kind of have to like a rub it because it will settle right there. Faded is a very finicky product because as much as I love it, it does tend to pill with a lot of things. So I think it's really just the Faded by topical that is making this pill. So for finish, I'm gonna be giving this a 0.6. Let's talk about reapplication. It does go on very well when you're reapplying it on top of like the dried product. It doesn't disturb the other layer of the sunscreen that you have on your face and it blends out just the same, no problems there. Over makeup, it does take a little bit of product off um, and it does leave you quite shiny. <laughs> um, however, it does dry down without the need to powder, but it does eventually dry down without the need to powder on top. Um, this video here, I'm showing you guys, I've reapplied it on top of my makeup and I did not put any powder on just so I could see what it looks like. I would be comfortable leaving my face like this if I needed to go somewhere. Um, usually I do powder a little bit around my nose here if it's excessively so, but in the winter, I don't really find the need to. This one is, is it's fine. So for reapplication, I'm going to be giving this a 0.8 white cast. So... There is a slight cast when you're applying the product, as I said before, and as you guys have seen in the demo. Um, and if you don't blend it out carefully around your hairline, you will see a little bit of that separation. Once it dries down, like trying to blend it out is, is not gonna happen. So when you're applying it, make sure that you blend it out and then it won't appear in your hairline. I would say that it blends out to about 95% and there's a slight, very minuscule sheen to your skin. No one is really gonna notice unless they're like really close to your face, which you know, 90% of the population is not, thank God. <laughs> but um, it is basically non-existent. But definitely make sure it blends out properly before it dries down. So for white cast, I'm gonna be giving this a 0.9 fragrance okay so this product does contain a fragrance as an actual ingredient um the smell is quite light it's quite clean it's not quite like a linen scent but it's what you would expect cotton to smell like i think what it probably is though is the moringa like it's a very earthy type of i don't know i'm terrible describing scents but it's a very natural scent it's probably what moringa smells like um the main fact is that it doesn't sting your eyes whatsoever which i love and the scent is not really noticeable if you're wearing it on your face, no one is gonna come to you and be like, oh, is that Moringa? Like, no, no one knows what the hell Moringa smells like, but um, it's not very noticeable. It doesn't sting the eyes. I don't find it overpowering. I actually really like the smell of this product. So I'm gonna be giving fragrance a point. Flashback. Happy to say there is no flashback with this product. So if you wanna go ahead and take some photos with your friends, you definitely can because your makeup will look just fine. This is editing Keisha, slight correction. So I'm looking back at the photo. There is a tiny, tiny bit of flash, especially around my mouth and like here by my forehead. I, at this point, I had applied about three layers of the sunscreen. And so it was giving me a little bit of whiteness, I think down by my mouth. So flashback is actually going to be getting 8.9. Overall, this product is getting an 8.6 out of 10. So that is the end of the video. I hope you guys really did enjoy. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you'll be trying this watery sunscreen from Hamish. What are your thoughts? Or also any other sunscreens that you would like me to try. And go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos. And as always, stay gorgeous, stay fabulous, and I'll see you later, ladies and gents, in my next video. Bye.